So, hello everyone and thank you for joining. Uh, from the beginning of the minute, I would like to say thank you for Ben Olibert and Sonia Rister. I hope I spell their names well. Uh, actually, from conversation with those two guys, uh, we started thinking about the community translation project because they highlight the main issues that, uh, that they have with translations and uh, tell that the community is highly interested in the uh, well-established translation process. So we started our internal research, uh, figure out what we have now and what we may improve, uh, what priorities we should have for this. So thank you guys that highlight this issue and uh, without your effort and initiative, uh, today meetings won't happen. Uh, so uh, let's uh, let's from the beginning cover what uh, what Magento have now uh, and what we are going to uh, change and why we want to change this. Um, let me share my screen. Okay, so uh, from the long time we have uh, crowding as translation uh, platform to translate all the Magenta versions. Uh, we have a lot of languages already in progress. Uh, and each language uh, has a lot of branches which corresponds to uh, Magento. Uh, Magento releases. So, some releases are missed because they was uh, with security patches, so no phrases was changed, uh, and uh, any contributors was welcome to to join to join to the project and start to translate phrases. Uh, with this process, uh, process we have two main issue. Uh, one of them is that uh, when translation done, even some language have uh, full coverage with translations, uh, there was no uh, simple way to fetch composer package and apply it to your project. Uh, it was possible just to, just to download uh, RAV files uh, by the link provided here, and it actually still works. Uh, all the all the approach still works. Uh, you may don't, you, you may still download all the translation for a particular version, Magento version, and build the uh, Magento language package with uh, Magento i18 n tool uh, that is delivered with Magento core uh, as uh, CLI command. Uh, but the issue is that this package uh, like. Everybody, everyone should create package by their own. Uh, we don't have like a predictable result. We can't even like uh, have a, a established uh, quality insurance uh, process and so on and so on. And the other issue that we have uh, a lot with translations that Magenta actually comes with some uh, language packages in core, but uh, as you all, all probably know, uh, all these packages don't contain any phrase translations. So uh, this, uh, for us, this is main to issue uh, uh, that we will try to resolve with this project. So our first, our goal is to simplify uh, process of translations uh, of phrases uh, for Magento and all related projects, and uh, to establish automated uh, builds to to have. Uh, language package created automatically for all translations that we have at crowding. Uh, so let's have a look how, how we plan to do this and how you as a community member may help us with this and uh, actually what we are going to do. So uh, as GitHub is uh, the main platform for communication uh, and collaboration of Magento community, we decided to create another one uh, GitHub organization, which is called Magento L10N, which stands for Magento Localization. Uh, we could create this separate GitHub organization uh, because we uh, see that uh, this project will require a little bit like several uh, 
GitHub repositories, uh, and it's a kind of experimental approach. So we decided to uh, put everything that uh, related to translation and localization in separate um, GitHub organization, uh, just to uh, don't uh, mess with uh, like uh, production ready packages that are available that are available at uh, main Magenta GitHub organization, and to simplify discovering everything that is related to translations. Uh, so this GitHub uh, organization would be home uh, for any uh, for any activities related to translation and probably later for other projects related to localization. So the main repository here is i18n, and this repository actually call it to be a place of uh, documenting all our efforts, all, all our projects. So this is like uh, the homepage. We are going to put everything, every documentation that we have inside docs folder and so on and so on. So this is like a uh, good starting, uh, this repository is a good starting pro uh, point to discover uh, all our translation initiatives. Uh, so far, it has uh, not a lot of content. Uh, we will fix this in upcoming uh, weeks. Uh, actually, actually, we left it's like pretty basic content intentionally because we uh, would like to share like initial vision, but we strongly uh, hope that you will provide our feedback and like uh, correlate uh, like. Uh, like, like uh, give uh, us more precise dire direction uh, to move forward. So, uh, so we uh, highly hope for your feedback and your input, uh, how we should really move with this project and what is really top priorities. Uh, let, let's take a look here. Uh, because it's not not in, in the right order, so let's uh, take a project list. Uh, so far, we uh, uh, ex explicitly uh, separate several projects. Uh, two of them related to exactly translations. It's uh, Magento Core Translation and Magento Multi-Source Inventory Translation. As you may know, MSI is a, a huge, huge uh, feature that was uh, developed by Magento community. Uh, so each, each of these translation projects have uh, two projects, uh, two uh, resources that uh, link it uh, with each other and we are going to uh, build, build even more integration with, uh, within them. So first of, the, first of all, this is a uh, crowding project. So we uh, have crowding, uh, old one crowding project for Magento Core, which include Magento Open Source, Magento Commerce, and Magento B2B models, and a new one crowding project uh, for Magento MSI. Uh, from the beginning of the project, we changed it a little bit structure of, of this project, so we still have a lot of languages, so no translation was lost during uh, migration to the, to the new pro process. Uh, but the main uh, change that we would like to introduce now is that we, uh, we think that it's better now to start working not on the uh, branches dedicated to each Magento release, but on the single master branch that includes translation for all Magento versions. Uh, we discovered that like a lot of uh, phrases du duplicated from version to version and crowding workflow uh, make it it's difficult uh, a proofreading process and approval process uh, when we, we have splitting translation across all of the branches. So we uh, put together all, all translations and phrases that we have from the uh, release of Magento 2.0.0 uh, and have all everything in the single master branch. Uh, this approach also should simplify our release strategy because now we will uh, possibility just to uh, versioning of language packages just uh, like linearly, uh, increasing like uh, patch versions when some type of fixes and minor version when like uh, when uh, 
uh, when new phrase is added and using module version increase when some backward incompatible changes happens, uh, which is uh, phrase deletion, but, uh, removal, but hopefully we, won't, we, we will not do this uh, in future and have language packages compat uh, compatible with all available lang Magento editions and versions. So uh, system integrator or developer or merchant when want to install some language package uh, will not bother with which version or release line uh, he should select, but uh, just uh, take the like, latest stable language package and apply it to its Magento version. So uh, we are welcome everyone to, to join to translation or, or, or their own uh, language uh, and start to uh, provide translations. Uh, the next uh, change that we would like to introduce now uh, with uh, workflow with crowding is that uh, from the beginning we would like to eliminate, uh, like, or not eliminate, but ignore uh, crowding uh, phrases approval feature. Uh, we are doing this because uh, approval is uh, the point where, it's, where we have uh, most of questions, how it works, uh, who may approve, how to become maintainer who approve, why phrases, why phrases uh, not approved for a long time. Uh, so for now, uh, as Magento community is uh, very friendly and open, uh, we are going to accept all the, all the phrases that are proposed to, uh, to, to for, for translation and to uh, to decrease uh, uh, like uh, to decrease the image that may be introduced by some errors in translation and so on and so on, uh, we would prefer to uh, establish some automation process that we, uh, we will allow to uh, frequent uh, language package releases. So if some mistake was done, uh, we may frequent, frequently release new uh, version of language package. So mistake will be uh, fixed uh, pretty soon once we will discover and release a new package. Uh, later, I hope we will be able to develop, to develop together tools that uh, will transfer from this uh, accept uh, everything approach to approach then, uh, when we will, uh, we will vote for the translation. So we just uh, like, uh, someone will, uh, will, will propose to suggest translation for the phrase and other people will, uh, like, uh, will be able to say that I am agree with this translation or disagree and if you will uh, match some, uh, uh, some amount of agrees, uh, then we'll just think that this phrase is correct and we'll accept this to phrase uh, translation to the final language package, but this is uh, exactly uh, one of the things that we should do and, uh, and the tooling that we should develop for our translations. So this is probably main changes in crowding process for now. Uh, as I told, we also have uh, Magenta MSI crowding project. Uh, project. Uh, one, we will see that everything works uh, properly. I believe we will have more uh, translation project, uh, projects. For example, uh, for next is like uh, Magento page builder, which is, uh, which is released, uh, releasing soon and available for, for now only for Magento uh, commerce uh, cl uh, clients, but it's like will be features that are available for, for Magento core. So it definitely will be good that we, uh, we need to translate it. Uh, and like in final goal, we also hope that all, all the tools that, and approaches that will be, we will develop also allow all vendors and all uh, developers from Magento ecosystem to establish the same process uh, for translation and uh, having translated uh, any third party model will become easier uh, with, uh, with our tools and infrastructure. So uh, this, this was two projects that related to uh, translation itself and to simplify everything and ma make work uh, smooth and simple. Uh, we need to 
develop and improve the tooling that we have. Uh, actually, from from tooling per perspective, probably we now have only uh, the one tool is uh, uh, several commands that are available in Magento CLI uh, applications. That is uh, Magento i18n tools which has uh, uh, phrases uh, collect phrases and pack uh, phrases that allow to uh, fetch phrases from Magento instance and uh, create a language package from from this uh, from from those uh, collected phrases but this feature has also several drawbacks one of uh, major drawback is that uh, it requires a full Magento installation, and it's uh, hard to evolve this feature because uh, evolve this uh, tool because it's embedded in Magento. So, uh, if we will add some new feature to this translation uh, translation tool, it will be available only for new Magento versions. And to apply this tool for like previous Magento version, we uh, developer will need to have several Magento instances on the uh, local machine, and it's not not pretty usable. So uh, we would we would like to extract this tool from from Magento core and split it for uh, several tools uh, by their purpose. So uh, we have uh, now established a GitHub repository for for tools that we call tool phrase extractor. Actually, all tools will be started from uh, tool prefix. In GitHub and all projects related to translation will start with i18n uh, prefix. So we have tool phrase extractor tools that uh, supposed to uh, to be able to extract all the phrases for any uh, source code uh, folder. It may be Magento core uh, source code or it may be third-party model. This tool should be able just to uh, take the uh, fo folder resource code uh, or GitHub repository uh, as an input and uh, as an output gives all the phrases that are located in this uh, source code. The another one tool is uh, Tool Language Packager. Is a tool that we uh, we need to develop uh, uh, to uh, uh, collect all the phrases that that we have on crowding. Uh, as you may you, you may see, uh, all the phrases at, at crowding are split by uh, by uh, component where they use it. For example, so we uh, see that we have model admin GWS, uh, GWS, and uh, we have uh, phrases uh, phrases collected in. Uh, uh, to underscore dot csv file and all they located uh, uh, in, in this file we, we have all these phrases that should be translated but uh, magenta language packages expect that language package will have only single uh, singular csv file with all the phrases for all the models that we have uh, this is another aspect that we probably will need to change in future, but uh, it's not so critical now. So uh, we'll uh, we uh, we think this this, this uh, issue have low priority. So and uh, want to have like automated language pick, uh, packaging as a top priority. So. Um, we hope that this tool will allow us to do this, uh, and we hope that we will be able to develop it together. Another is a third one and last one tool that we want to start develop right now is uh, Tool Linguist. Uh, it has such name because it's uh, this not so uh, single purpose tool. Uh, this is, should be some middleware service uh, that actually combine uh, workflow and, and features that have crowding and GitHub uh, and allow interaction with all uh, with uh, these two platforms together. So for now we have only Establish it integration from from crowding to GitHub. So if you open any GitHub uh, repository with translations, we, we may see that uh, 
each fold uh, that we have all the folders uh, uh, which has the initial source uh, source files with translations that should be done and uh, crowding automatically create pull requests with delivering all translations that are made inside uh, crowding uh, but in ideal state, uh, what we are going to achieve at the final, uh, we also would like to be able to, to open an, any translation file at uh, uh, GitHub and create pull requests with, uh, with translation from, uh, from GitHub. So it may be uh, processed from GitHub and uh, translation will be back to crowding. So uh, for Contributors, contributors at the final, uh, at the end of the project, there is uh, uh, will will be no difference where to contribute at crowding or GitHub. So, and this uh, tool tool linguist is actually uh, we are planning that it will be a GitHub application that uh, manage all the uh, events at GitHub and sync crowding and GitHub uh, uh, GitHub uh, data together and uh, triggers uh, automated builds of language package when, once we create uh, accept pull request or uh, create some uh, release tag and so on. Uh, <clears throat> another one resource that, uh, that we may use and uh, all the resources you may, you may find at uh, Magenta L10N, I18N, uh, readme file is a uh, projects board. As for any community project, we are going to use uh, ZenHub. It's pretty empty now because we want to uh, we want to create backlog together with community to uh, not uh, spend time on the things that not important for you, but uh, implement exactly what is uh, needed right now. Uh, for now, it has only single uh, issue that we, we should document translation uh, con contribution guide at our developer uh, DevDocs portal. Uh, just everyone interested may go to this page, read what we have, and start to contributing. And everything else, actually, uh, we are going to f to fill this backlog together with uh, community, and especially with uh, those active members that uh, are willing to join to some of projects that, that we have. Uh, we have also a Slack channel translations uh, when we will uh, communicate and for any questions uh, that you have related to translation or localization, uh, you may send a mail to magento l10n at adobe.com and we will try to uh, help you uh, and and find what we may do from our side or together. And as always at GitHub, you may just create issue if you want to raise some uh, some question or raise some issue or just have some proposal with improvement. Just uh, use uh, usual GitHub workflow, just create issue and we'll uh, answer to it uh, as soon as possible. Uh, so uh, this is what we are going to do, uh, and like today we are starting all, uh, activities on all the projects that, that I mentioned. But uh, as we have limited resources, and uh, due to our internal vision, uh, for now the most important is of course translation itself and the tools that uh, allow uh, language packagers. So this is exactly area that we need uh, uh, help uh, right now. And uh, we believe this effort, especially in those, on those uh, directions will allow to achieve us like significant uh, result and improvement in nearest future. So if you're interested in to, uh, to join this project, just uh, 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 join to Slack channel and say that you're interested, and we'll just uh, we'll gather we'll we'll just uh, like uh, gather with smallest groups that uh, that particularly work on on this tool, and to, we'll start uh, active discussion and active implementation. So from the beginning, we are going to use Magento i18 
and pack uh, implementation as a basic of this tool, but uh, we definitely need something uh, more gen generic and more uh, uh, more robust uh, for our needs. Uh, so this is all uh, that's related to the project and what we have, and uh, and as always, uh, Magento Community Engineering and Magento would like to recognize uh, the people that uh, contribute to Magento and uh, spend their time, resources, talents uh, to bring something to Magento. Uh, we, as always, will create some boards uh, for. Uh, any projects that related for tooling, uh, that would be the uh, usual approach with contribution points that we have for any Magento repository. And for uh, translation projects, uh, as it's hard to compare uh, effort needed to translate phrases and to implement something in uh, in code for like in PHP or JavaScript, uh, we decided to have separate board uh, we are going to uh, publish uh, intermediate results uh, with most translators uh, each week uh, and highlight the most contributors during our weekly meetings. Uh, but uh, I hope that at the end of the April, we'll have the board uh, at the magento.com portal, the similar that we have for our contribution uh, contributors, maintainers, and contributing partners, and so on. So we will have additional tab for translators. Actually, uh, this is uh, all that I would like to share today with you. Uh, Hope it will it was useful useful. Hope uh, you're interested and willing to join. And if you have any questions, not especially related to what I said before, but uh, maybe some issues that, uh, with uh, with translations uh, process and so on, I will be glad to answer your question or write, just write down the, the points that we need to. Um, that we need to take in mind when we will create the backlog for Magento translation project. Thank you. And hope for your questions. Okay, so I see. Uh, we have something in the chat, sorry I missed it. Okay, so uh, yeah, if if you have uh, uh, interest in, in translation for some language that is missed at uh, Crowdin for now, uh, just create issue at GitHub or just send email at uh, magento elton and at adobe.com email and we cre will create this. Uh, we'll create this uh, language uh, to, uh, for translation and uh, like the final goal, the, the final vision that we have that uh, uh, this uh, Magento uh, GitHub application that we call it now Magento Linguist tool should be able to create language at crowding once uh, pull request with some, with some new language is created at, at, at GitHub. So this is well, like one of the tools that we want to have uh, at uh, our like, integration to simplify process. And yeah, I will add, uh, add language uh, with German, Switzerland, Switzerland uh, as we will finish the meeting. So then uh, if there is no question, uh, thank you for your time. Uh, hope uh, to hear you, uh, and read your messages at the Magento Translations uh, project, and uh, we'll keep you informed on the project, on the progress on this project, and hope to see you in a week uh, with, uh, and share with you some more significant results than just the plans. Okay, thank you.